Globalization is unequal, negative, and pulling the humanity down. 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 Hi, I am John Lopamia. This time, let us talk about the cost and cons of globalization. And in this edition, let us concentrate and start to look at on the negative effect of globalization. Yes, this is a stand against globalization. But before that, let us define what globalization is. So let's get into it. Globalization is a process by which ideas, goods, and services spread throughout the world. In business, the term is often used in an economic context to describe an integrated economy marked by free trade, the free flow of capital, and corporate use of foreign labor markets to maximize returns and benefit the common good. How globalization works? Globalization is driven by the convergence of political, cultural, and economic systems that ultimately promote and often necessitate increased interaction, integration, and dependency amongst nations. The more that disparate regions of the world become intertwined politically, culturally, and economically, the more globalized the world becomes. There are three types of globalization economic, political, and cultural. Economic globalization. This type focuses on the unification and integration of international financial markets as well as multinational corporations that have a significant influence on international markets. Political globalization. This type deals mainly with policies designed to facilitate international trade and commerce. It also deals with the institutions that implement these policies, which can include national governments as well as international institutions such as the International Monetary Fund and the World Trade Organization. Cultural Globalization This type focuses on the social factors that cause cultures to converge, such as increased ease of communication and transportation, thought about technology. It is important to note that all the types influence each other. For example, economic globalization is made possible by certain liberal trade policies that fall under the category of political globalization. Cultural globalization is also affected by policies passed in political globalization and is affected by economic globalization by the imports and exposure a culture has to other cultures through trade. The unifying thread between the three types of globalization is the advancement of technology. As mentioned previously, technology plays a role in expediating each type. So now, it's time Besides some negative consequences, focusing on the economic nature of globalization. These are some facts and research that I wanted you to know about my stand. And that is... No, the globalization. The modern economy is characterized by considerable destabilization compared to a decade later. This is largely determined by the negative economic consequences of globalization. On the world community as a whole, gradual loss of cultural and national identity by developing countries. The formation of a new economy under globalization leads to the domination of the information and communication sector, advertising market, and mass media of the most developed countries of the world, and the corresponding dissemination of language, cultural, ethnic, historical, and other achievements. As a result, countries lose additional revenue from tourism. Domestic producers are squeezed out of the market. The openness of borders and economies of a large part of the world forms preconditions for the spread of terrorism. 
the criminal threat of transnational crime and poses our direct threat to the economic security of such countries. No country in the world is able to counter the terrorist threat independently, which is substantially complemented by violence and information warfare, escalating complex crisis phenomena and processes within the global environment. On changing tendencies of macro and microeconomic influence, countries that are part of integration associations, the World Trade Organization and the GATT are obliged to adhere to the basic principles of their functioning, including the greatest promotion reciprocity in the provision of trade and political concessions, settlement of disputes through multilateral negotiations, etc. However, for a particular country, this may be an obstacle to the protection of the national economy. Multilateral negotiations between countries aimed at resolving disputes can last for years, which leads to destabilization both in the middle of countries and in the global economy as a whole. Governments of the world are forced to subordinate the formation of a legislative and regulatory framework to international law to implement socio-economic policy in accordance with the IMF requirements in order to obtain currency tensions, which increases legal and social instability in society. On the economic development of countries and their associations, activities of TNCs that use mechanisms of distorting transaction prices using differences in tax regimes in different countries contribute to the outflow of natural resources for less developed countries at low prices. Similar mechanisms contribute to the outflow of spilled personal and financial and investment resources. As a result, there are economic crises, population cuts, lack of funds to support economic development, the inability of government institutions to positively influence changes in macroeconomic indicators over the dependence of economies on changes in the conjuncture of international markets, activities of the World Bank, and the IMF. This stabilization of development of economic processes in developed economies over the outflow of funds for the needs of developing countries. In developing countries, on the contrary, because of the loss of the financial and credit system's ability to solve development, and self-development through the use of foreign borrowing with the exemption. On the environment, lack of responsibility zones for the economic consequences of the negative impact of globalization on the environment leads to prolonged natural and technogenic catastrophes like greenhouse effect and melting of glaciers, a landfill in the Pacific, a nuclear power plant accident in Japan, etc., the name from. Intensification of industrialization and urbanization as a result of the globalization of world economic process led to a decrease in the ability of environmental systems to self-healing and purification. On finance, reduction of receipts in the form of taxes and fees that do not come to the budgets of countries as a result of activities of TNSs, which actively use free economic zones with privileged tax treatment regimes favorable for business development. Deterioration in the financial sector manageably in countries due to the significant dependence of central banks on the policy of the World Bank and the IMF. Uncontrolled out law of capital under the influence of a significant higher level of liquidity and security of world financial markets, which adversely affects the stability of the financial system of countries. On migration processes, the uncontrolled outflow of skilled labor from countries where there is no necessary level of stimulation of their work for normal livelihoods and production as a result of directing global investment flows into the zone of high profitability of business. Poorly controlled low labor force inflow into developed communities 
and industrially developed countries of the world, which leads to an aggravation of the socio-economic situation in the country where the labor force migrates. The growth of frozen flow of refugees as a result of hostilities in the countries, the crisis of society, a decline of living standards, impoverishment of the population on political environment buying of countries of the world to reach their own interests along with regional or international leads to a deep confrontation of goals and interests of the parties to globalization the intensification of relations between countries the conduct of hostilities in the struggle for world domination over available resources. Globalization process contribute to the division of the world into regional groupings by political interests. Thus, the globalization of the world economy does not allow conducting the regulation and reproduction of national markets so effectively that it contributes to the economic growth of countries of the world, regardless of their regional origin, requiring radical reorganization of existing system for coordinating economic policies of countries. In conclusion, it is true that globalization gave many advantages in every human life. But together with it comes disadvantages and consequences that threatens also the life of any individual in the world. Some would argue that it is the fault of an individual, politicians, managers, leaders, even consumers, that globalization has its defects in our life. At the definition I gave about globalization, I enumerated types of globalization. This suggests that globalization is a product of human management. Thus, globalization is a product of a human being. And when you say that it is not the fault of globalization that these consequences I lay down emerges, rather it is because of any individual, you can say the fact that globalization is made by an erroneous individual. This serves the reality that globalization is not good because it is a product of an erroneous individual and I am against it. And if you may argue with the fact that it is the action of any individual that made the negative side prosper and not the individual itself, how would an action be done without the host of That's it. Join me again for another time as we continue to journey in the world of globalization. This has been your contemporary world friend, John Lofamia. Thanks for tuning here in John Lay's blog and bye for now.